Hello, this is Lynn Hirschberger of ColorJoy.com and today I'm here to introduce you to one of my favorite vegetables, the kohlrabi. And they are a strange gizmo here. They grow on a stem right here. This is just an enlargement of a stem. And they have big leaves, which you can cook like a collard green. Um, but sometimes they don't have as nice of a greens as you might like. They, wor they worry more about how, how the vegetable itself uh, turns out. So you want to look carefully. If you like greens, uh, it's really nice and soup. Uh, so what I've done so far is I cut off the top of the this big kohlrabi so that's what's left of it and I cut off the bottom this is really woody it's very hard to cut off there's a lot of fiber in there and so I can still see the fiber here but I'm going to cut off the outside of that and you once you cut off the top and the bottom you can just kind of go around I learned this from a video, some TV show about food. I found it on, t on uh, the internet, and you can, they did it with grapefruit, and I thought, oh, okay. Then I can do that with not just a grapefruit to squeeze out the fruit or whatever, but I can do it on these really difficult uh, outsides of a kohlrabi. Um, kohlrabi is just, it, it's almost rope-like, the, the fibers on the outside. You definitely don't want to try to eat it with the skin. I don't mind the idea of the, how, uh, how many vitamins are in a lot of skins, but this isn't going to work here. I just turned it over, so I'm going to do the last part. The, the top is a lot more, um, I want to say gentle. It doesn't have as much fiber. It's more succulent almost. And then when you're done, you know, there's just a little bit left and you can, I don't know what a professional chef would do. I just know that uh, this seems to work for me. And you really do, I like to buy the biggest kohlrabis I can find because you lose so much when you, when you do this. So some of this is still a little fibrous. You can see it's, I'm having a hard time cutting it where you can see me, that I'm sawing at it. I probably need a better knife of some sort. I have not taken chef classes. I'm going to cut this in half. Nice baby. There we go. It has a texture a lot like a really firm apple. And I like it in stir fries. It reminds me a little bit of something like a water chestnut or a jicama, if you've ever had those. It's, it absorbs some text, uh, some flavoring, so if you put soy sauce or something like that, it, it does a nice job of absor absorbing that. And so I like it in a stir fry, but my favorite thing to do is to eat it raw. And a lot of people don't know you can do that. My friend Altu just discovered kohlrabi. It's her new favorite vegetable. And she is a, the queen of collard greens and that sort of thing. I'm guessing that she's going to start with a whole lot of sautéed onions because that's a very typical uh, Ethiopian way to start a vegetable or a, a meal. Um, and then put a lot of spices in it. So she's doing some kind of, of cooking of it. Um, so I like to just kind of slice it. Um, it's pretty firm. There we go. And I'm distractible, so talking while I'm working is uh, kind of dangerous. I hope I'm not doing anything that encourages somebody to uh, to endanger their fingers. But here we are. Then these are 
crunchy vegetables and they you know they go really well on a tray with carrots and they're a lot more interesting than celery um, it has a very very mild cabbage taste uh, you can it's it's pretty mild <clears throat> but it is it is a cabbage family sort of thing um, let's see I still have I just like to make sure there we go don't hurt yourself sometimes I used to actually just kind of chip away at it you know kind of do like this and that's just great for a salad it's perfect for a salad actually which is what I'm going to do with this right now but I have um, a young lady in my life she's an adolescent and she doesn't like cooked vegetables but she seems to like crunchy one so she loves kohlrabi and she thinks she doesn't like vegetables but she's learning that she only likes certain kinds and uh, mushy cooked ones don't work for her texture is so important with food so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this into a salad I'm going to put it in a bowl and I like olive oil and uh, usually dill dill weed and let's see if I can grab myself a nice salad bowl here. And I can I can break these or I can just put those big pieces in that will work. And I want to make sure I don't put any of the fibrous parts in my salad because that's quite unpleasant. It's like celery only more. Those fibers are really tough. So here we are. I've got a nice salad. And then I'm really fond of putting seeds. I'm allergic to tree nuts and I don't do that well with uh, peanuts. But I like seeds. I can do seeds and they have so much um, nutrition in them that I use a lot of flax seed and I, I just found these wonderful temp, hemp seeds. They're really almost buttery. They're just gorgeous and they have incredible nutrition. They have a lot of protein. Uh, you'd be surprised how much protein this is. Uh, three tablespoons is 10 grams of protein. That's two thirds of a um, the chicken leg if you're a meat eater or you're trying to avoid meat it's it's equivalent to maybe an egg um, or uh, an avocado did you know avocados have a lot of protein so I'm gonna put a, an egg on ours because Brian made some boiled eggs this morning so they're there I also like to put tofu in it and what I do with that is I chop it up into little pieces well kind of cubes and um, and I put some soy sauce on it and set it aside while I'm doing the chopping of the vegetables. So this is my beautiful, beautiful salad. And uh, oh, I'm not a chef. I don't know how to do it the way that anyone else does it. But this is a really pretty fast lunch. It's very filling because of all the fiber. And it's just a wonderful thing. Oh, I need my olive oil. And you can see I like olive oil so much that my, my olive oil container is almost empty. So I'm going to have to go. I wasn't preparing to do this. I was just going to tell you about kohlrabi. But I have got some more in the cupboard. This is fabulous stuff. So if you can do walnut oil, that's just incredibly good. Worth the money. Um, but there you are. There's my salad, and I can have a nice quick lunch. Thanks. Bye. Again, colorjoy.com. I have free recipes there and a bunch of other cool, artful things. Bye now.